Today, we're going to talk about the model personalization in MidJourney. So this is how you can teach MidJourney the aesthetics of what you like in the images. So this could be types of artwork. This could be how things are posed. This could be a lot of things. And how you do this is you go to midjourney.com slash rank. And then this is going to give you this set up here where you can choose between the two things. Now, as you can tell, I've already ranked 350 of these images. That sounds like a lot, but it's really just clicking either one. And if you don't like either one, you can just click skip, right? So of these two, right, do I like this fiery wolf watercolor thing or do I like this photo of the baby, you know? These things are sometimes hard to pick because this is not really comparing a photo to a photo or anything. So you can just skip, skip if you want. Now here is a drawing compared to a drawing. So which of these do I like the best? I like that one, right? Here's the photo to a photo. Which of these do I like the best? I like this one, right? So you kind of get the idea, like which of, this, which of these things do you like? And, um, and you can just go through here and pick what you like the best. And if you don't like it, you just hit skip, right? Do not click this image as a test that you're confirming to pay attention. That's kind of funny, right? And so you can go through here and you can pick whatever you want, right? And sooner or later, you're going to have enough where mid-journey really kind of learns what you like. And um, it doesn't mean that one image is better than the other or anything. It's just kind of you're teaching you're teaching mid journey what you like. Right. And, um, so, um, that's kind of it. So how does this work in real life? Okay. So let's go to create and you already have, I was messing around with some trucks. Okay. But here's how you use it is you just do dash dash P. Okay. Now that's mid journey code for, Hey, mid journey, use my preferences when making these images. Okay. Now, we're going to see these four trucks were made without my preferences. And then, of course, this next roll is going to be with the ones that I chose through the personalization. And we'll see, do they look different? You know, it's the same prompt. They should look sort of similar. Okay. And maybe they'll look exactly the same, but we'll find out in two seconds. And anyway, so this is a great way. The more you use MidJourney, the more you rank stuff, the further along mid-journey can understand what you like um, and what your tastes are. So um, anyway, so here's here's the results. And um, you can tell they're all the same trucks, but these look slightly darker. You know, so maybe it learned that I like uh, darker looking things. I don't know. So anyway, so uh, check it out. See if it's for you. That's the mid-journey uh, model personalization and see if you mid journey can learn what you like. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing to the mid journey experience newsletter. This is a weekly newsletter that we publish to help you learn how to use mid journey better. It is specifically made for creative designers. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Take care. See you.